All right, we'll see if this uh, will just be a video on, and I'll try, try to do that, and then maybe I'll do a ramble video. So I'm about to do, um, oh gosh, am I ever happy? I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. So thank, uh, thank you, Craig McCulkahy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. Probably not. I'm sorry. But thank you very much, because I'm going to be using this. Um, so what I have done... Oh my God! I didn't realize those elimination markers are only are, are only temporary. I like I said, I've only I'm reading the uh, rules kind of like go uh, while I'm playing. Anyways, I thought they were on there forever, so I was actually re like structuring how I was going to move around it, uh, and it's like no, 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 they're temporary. So as well as the the disruption, mar so I said, you know what? We'll get rid of all the disruption markers. There was only one. I'll, I'll get rid of all the um, uh, elimination markers and start from scratch, kind of. Uh, I've got the observed positions here. I'll tell you quickly. So uh, with the central powers uh, turn, they kind of knew there was a lot of, well, obviously, because they fired from woods and so on and so forth. So they knew they were observed, like this machine gun uh, platoon. So I moved them over to this bit of woods. Can't fire this turn, but so what? Uh, these guys are both observed. Uh, they took out a ton of Japanese over here, and I know it's not a great idea, but I want to learn these types of rules. So I'm doing some interdicting fire with some dismounted cavalry uh, up to this hex. They're going to try to, uh, anybody who tries to get uh, over this hex, they're going to get shot at. And this artillery piece, not very much. He, I think he, yeah, he's only got a strength of two. He's got awful. But... He should be good for interdicting fire, is what I'm trying. What I'm assuming. Um, that's it. I know I'm about to get punched in the face. These guys, which you can't see because it's too far away for you, but um, I move them sideways just to remind myself that um, they moved so much into these woods that the central powers vacated or were uh, pushed, or you know, uh, like um, uh, Craig. We'll call K. Hey, ah, damn it! I'm gonna have to learn how to say that right because that's not very nice. Um, Mention that. It, remember, it doesn't mean they're all killed. It just means uh, their combat effectiveness is um, reduced so much because it's at that scale. Yeah, it's not like combat uh, scale. When I was watching Dad versus Son, where he could start doing a. Um, well, a campaign with personalities and so on and so forth, which is, you know. Anyway, so I'm doing some also some interdicting fire, but there's the sweetheart because they're artillery. I think I, think I can do uh, two here with these dudes. So it's like, that's pretty nice. Uh, I also quickly went through the rules and realized that artillery can fire across. I think I'll have to take a look again. Well, there's something about Cressa Hills and, or whatever, but I think I can fire over... Uh, like a, uh, I can do direct line of sight or something um, as long as it's a clear path, like normally if I can see it if there's intervening units friendly or uh, whatever because I can, I can see them, I can nail them. So that's interesting. Alright, which means this guy here I think can shoot at this guy in the town. I don't have a very good chance. I think one and two. He's got uh, um, that target, oh, this is so cool. I really, I'm going to admit, I can't, I'm going, I'm eager to play with Rob. Uh, I'm seeing so much. I'm like, okay, I screwed the, you know, it's a learning experience game for this, but this is so neat. There's so many things I'm starting to clue into, well, obviously, to, due to the fact that, like, get your machine gun uh, platoons in position somewhere, and then you, you take out that spot, you move your infantry in, you go somewhere else. That's why I'm so, oh my god, yeah, it's neat. I'm like, well, because you got to remember, I read about this all the time in the Great War, but I don't play it out. I, I play it, I'm, I'm playing on, on another level here. I'm playing, you know, where, you know, generals and are doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, oh, this is really interesting. Um, don't worry, I'm going back to whatever. Mind you, I haven't played a gaunt stared at the uh, war table map in probably almost nearly a week properly. So it's going to take me an hour at least just to stare at it until I get it in my head. I see people stare at that map 
downstairs on the war table, stare at my, look at my war table, and they're like, I can see it. Question marks popping left, right, and center. They don't know anything, and um, or you know, little. And I'm like, my God, it's gonna take me the same way, man, about an hour just to start getting into properly focused. I'm listening to. Uh, no, I said I wouldn't do that. See, I went off in a ramble, and let's go back to this. Ooh, goody. So that's it. I've moved as many units as I can. Well, I've moved everybody for the um, uh, the Allied turn. I know these guys are going to get killed. What I'm hoping is at least at the bare minimum, I, I can't kill the, take these guys outright, but maybe disrupt them so I can swoop in and do some... Remember, these guys are all on road. I can... So maybe that's an idea. Uh, I've got... I moved the machine gun platoons uh, apart. They were stuck here together. And then I moved one of the infantry up here. Uh, well, three infantry up here. I know they're exposed, but you can't get everybody at... You can't shoot everybody at once, kind of, or you don't have enough people. We'll see how it goes. I'm learning. Um, this is uh, fascinating. I'll say that for sure. Um, now I can see why there wasn't so many elimination markers. So I was like, God, I have to go downstairs and grab the ones that I um, printed off just for fun way back when, when I had no idea what the um, uh, the giant asterisk thing in the jig it was. But uh, that's that. Okay, I'll stop, the, stop here. I want to say again that I'm so happy that um, People are helping me out with this because um, uh, I went back on the BGG forum and read and people were just uh, like meandering. Mike was saying, um, uh, Nanguea man, uh, you picked a half decent game to play out because there's no one, you know, and it's uh, I guess a lean, mean, um, tactical uh, great war machine if you want to look at it that way. It, there's um, it. That's the way people were saying. They were like, look, this thing seems to work. Um, you know, just go that way and also remember the time period it was made in. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to enjoy uh, playing this with Rob. All right, see you later. Hope you're having fun.